man, welcome back to talk to me with the coach, Mike Lee Maiden. This we're on the road with the White Sox, and we got the man for the White Sox, Jason Frazier. How we doing? Doing well. Doing well. Thanks for having me on the show. Right. Now, I'm going to mention my show reaches a young audience. And, you know, I'm a former Major League scout. I scouted for five Major League teams, and I coach college ball. And every kid I ran across. Is every kid's dream to play Major League Baseball, and you're in the big leagues. Yeah. What was that road like for you? That road, uh, you know what, I'm 5'9", mm -hmm. I'm 5'9", 175 pounds, mm -hmm. um, 33rd round draft pick. Mm -hmm. um, all that being said, I had always had a good arm, mm -hmm. always had a good arm. Um, but it wasn't easy, mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't easy, I was always, you know, I was always too short, you mm -hmm. know, coaches. Professional teams always said, good arm, but he doesn't fit our profile. He's not tall enough. Mm -hmm. um, but I got a chance. Got a mm -hmm. chance with the Tigers who are playing today. And uh, and uh, always showed always showed flashes of being, being pretty good. Mm -hmm. Throwing a, throw in three elbow surgeries mm -hmm. along the way. You know, that's uh, basically three years of my career mm -hmm. down the drain. Um, I had my speed bumps. I had my hurdles, but I always... Always had a good arm. Always, always had an idea how to pitch. And uh, once I got healthy, mm -hmm. um, I got moved to the bullpen, and my career took off. I went from starter to bullpen to, to being healthy, and that's when, when things came together for me. Now you say you had a good arm. How hard was you throwing in high school? High school, high school, not that hard. I had a big, big, slow curveball. I was low 80s in high school, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, you know I just got, I got, well. Bigger and stronger, more stronger than big, and uh, um, and the, for, for some reason, uh, the velocity came when I got to college. Um, um, so, uh, high school I was a bum. I was nobody. I was I was a better shortstop than I, than I was pitcher. But um, you know, my, my arm got stronger. My I got I got bigger, and and, uh, and the velocity came, and and uh, good things happened after that. Now, you know, what's this with you and Santos and Crane, these converted shortstops playing pitching now? Well, be best athlete on the field, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, uh, you see all the time, you know, in high school, you, you know, if you're talented, you play more than one position. Mm -hmm. High school, you need somebody to throw strikes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that, that was me. And uh, when you're not pitching, you're playing shortstop. Hey, you talk about in college, you, you got stronger as a pitcher. And I always tell kids, they think that lift weights is going to make you stronger. I always told kids as a scout and a coach, only real way outside of not natural body development over from one year to the next, to shrink your arm is really to play long toss. They think it's in the weight room. For me, it was both. Uh, For me, it was both. Um, I never really worked out in high school. Never, never lifted weights in high school. Just, you know, I was playing basketball and I was playing baseball. Just, I never really had any desire to do that. Then I got to college, it gets a little more serious, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, they have a program down there, and you, you know, you got to do it or you don't play, so, um, so I, you know, I did, 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 did the workouts and, and uh, fell in love with it, it was great, you know, how, how could you not love it if your, your, your velocity's going up, velocity's not everything, of course, but, you know, it's important, mm -hmm. and uh, if you're 5'9", it's important, you better, <laughs> you, you better, you better throw somewhat hard, um, um, and then, Long toss, of course. You know, we were. Too, I remember we were a bunch of us. Coaches weren't there. Uh -huh. They probably wouldn't have let us do it. But we were standing at home plate, and we were trying to throw it out of the field. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't know if I recommended if I'd recommend trying to throw it that far. Yeah. But I but I think it helped. You know, yeah. I think it helps. You know, it, the more care you have in the ball, mm -hmm. I think the harder the ball is going to be coming off the mound. So we got to college, and the scouts started showing interest in you. I mean. What did it go from there with you? Uh, you know, I think uh, I think I, I think if you have one of the tools, one of the five tools, I think they're going to give you a shot if you can run or throw or really you know really field it or if you can hit for some power, they're going to give you a chance. And my thing was, uh, you know, I threw low 90s, and when I came out of the bullpen in college, I I would touch 94, 95. That wasn't the norm. But I showed it, 
and uh, the Tigers gave me a chance in the 33rd round. I was 5'9". I was already coming off of a Tommy John surgery, and uh, I was a senior. You know, I had three strikes against me, but they gave me a chance. And uh, um, once I got the pro ball, I had a, had a very good start. And then my elbow failed me again, and uh, I had another Tommy John. And then I got traded to the Dodgers. And uh, um, I was demoted to the bullpen. That, 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 that's how I took it. I was demoted to the bullpen. Uh, and uh, plus, they were loaded. Yeah. They, all their guys were 6'4", uh -huh. hard-throwing right-handers, and they were Dodger guy. I wasn't really a Dodger guy. I wasn't one of their guys, so I really didn't fit in. So I was demoted to the bullpen and uh, did really, really well. And uh, like, like I fell in love with you know, weights, I fell in love with the bullpen, and that was the, one of the best things that ever happened to me, being demoted to the bullpen. Now, making that route to the big leagues, I mean, when you got that call up for the first time, walked in that locker room and saw your uniform, what was that feeling like? Um, just, uh, just, I remember being so nervous, and I was questioning whether, man, do I belong here? You know, it was, and then I get, I get to, uh, I made my debut at Tiger Stadium, and Roy Halladay's pitching that game for the Blue, Blue Jays versus Tigers. I was with the Blue Jays at that point. Roy Halladay, he throws a complete game. He was 95 to 97 miles, miles an hour, complete game. And I said to the bullpen coach, I don't think I belong here. I mean, it, it, you know, I don't know. A little know. intimidating. It huh? is a little intimidating, but, you know, I, I found out the next day that, you know, Roy Halladay's are few and far between, few and far between, and he's elite, and everybody doesn't throw like that. Three or four days later, I made my debut against the uh, Baltimore Orioles, where I actually got into a game. But being called up, that was the easy part. I think the hard part was you know, being good enough to stick, yeah. being good enough to stay. And uh, had a pretty good rookie year, pretty good mm -hmm. second year. Third year was terrible. And uh, uh, I, th I, th I think there's a few reasons why, I, why I'm still here. I've, yeah. I've been healthy. I've, I've never been on a DL, knock on plastic. <laughs> I've, I've never been on a DL in my, yeah. my career my big big league career and I think I think I've been a I've been a good teammate yeah. I think I, th I think you know obviously you have to be pretty good mm -hmm. but it helps if you're a good guy you're a good teammate and yeah. you're healthy and you made a pretty good career out of it so far yeah yeah um, you know eight years ago if you'd have told me I'd still be in the big leagues and uh, I'd have said I'd have said wow and I'd have said probably not yeah, but uh, yeah, yes Yes, I've uh, I've learned a lot. I've come a long way. I'm, uh, I'm I'm very very grateful. I've you know you know thank you Toronto Blue Jays. They were great to me, and uh, but I'm very very happy now to be with the White Sox. Coach, take you youngsters behind the scenes with the man J.F. for the White Sox. All right, appreciate it. You're welcome. Anytime. All right.